Alright guys, welcome back, and in this tutorial, I want to teach you guys about behaviors. Now, what a behavior is, is pretty much exactly what you think of. It's pretty much how a certain object will act, or, well, behave. So, what you can do is you can add a different slew of behaviors to different objects. Typically, like, whenever you have a platform, you could add a platform behavior. You can also add, like, a solid behavior for um, a block, so when you jump on it, um, you stay there but what I want to do is I want to add some very specific behaviors to these objects in our game so they act a very particular way so the first thing I want to do is well I want to let this dude move around so I want to do that by showing you guys how to actually add or edit a behavior so go ahead and click your player and on the left inside of the screen you're gonna see the properties and you're gonna see a little subsection for behaviors now it says add or edit behavior so click this link right here and whenever you click it you're gonna see all the behaviors on that object well we didn't add any yet so that's why this is blank so let's go ahead and add one now by clicking on this little add new behavior icon now as I said the first thing that I want to let my dude do is move around the screen so in order to do that, if we actually scroll down right here under this movements category, we're going to choose this eight direction movement. Now what the eight direction does is, as you can see, moves an object up, down, left, right, in diagonals. So once we click add, now what our object or our dude can do is he can, whenever we press the up, down, left, right on our keyboard, he's going to move up, down, left, right, and he can also move at any angle. So like 45 degrees, 52 degrees, pretty much any direction you want them to. So that is how you make a character move pretty freaking simple. So actually, I want to show you guys something right now. So we're going to run this. He's going to move. Um, wow, that's great. But, you know, there's uh, some trouble here. First of all, he's just moving off the screen. We're not following him. And second of all, look what happens when I move to the left-hand side. Um, okay, he just uh, walked out of the game. He wasn't even supposed to do that, just walking into the vastness of space. So let's go ahead and fix those two issues right now. So select your dude, and we need to add a couple more behaviors. So click behaviors again, add. Now the first problem we can fix is making the camera follow him. So if you scroll down, and I probably shouldn't even say that, where are you at? right here scroll to it's under general what this is going to do is the camera is going to follow your dude so he's always in the center of the screen so let's go ahead and add this one and now we have the problem that he can walk off you know like right here he can just walk off the edge of our game we obviously don't want to let that so if we click add new this one is called bound to layout right here under general bound to layout stop an object from leaving the layout hit add and we can actually close that and now whenever we run this check it out if he goes too far to the right the camera now follows him and let's go ahead and try to make him walk off the game to the left he can't Ugh. Ugh. and someone sending me freaking messages when I'm trying to teach a tutorial but anyways that's what those behaviors do again we had an eight directional movement so we can move around using our up down left right arrow keys we added scroll to so the camera follows him and bound to layout. So now what I want to do is we need to add some behaviors to the other objects as well. The first one is the bullet. So select your bullet and in the behaviors link, what we're going to do for this is we're actually going to add two behaviors. The first one is bullet movement. And a bullet movement pretty much saying we're going to give you um, one angle to start at and whenever you are animated just keep following that path at the exact same angle like a bullet so again this bullet is never gonna go you know take a curved path like this like our player can whenever it shoots out it's gonna go in a straight line or shoots out like this it's gonna go in a straight line right here like a vector so that's the first one bullet and um, the other one that I want to do is also destroy outside layout which is, I hate finding these, they should just have them in alphabetical order. Destroy outside layout. 
Now, what this does is it basically says this. Whenever we shoot the bullet and it goes outside the game area, then destroy it or just get rid of it, make it disappear. Now, usually it wouldn't matter. And if you're thinking, all right, what's the matter if it just goes into empty space forever? Well, it's more important to the memory of the game because whenever you're playing a game, it has to keep track of every object. And if you just are firing a bunch of bullets and they're going out towards space, and our computer has to remember that they are in space, then it's going to eat up all your memory. So that just says, once it goes outside the game, get rid of it, wipe it from the memory, and it's going to make your game run a lot faster. Now, for the monster, this is actually a pretty cool uh, tip I'll show you guys right here. If you click on their behavior, then what I want to do is I also want to add a bullet movement to this. Now you're thinking, all right, well, that doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't I just add eight directional because you did it for your dude? Well, I'm going to add this because these monsters, the way I'm going to program them, they're pretty much going to be like zombies, just like walking in straight lines all the time. So they're not going to be able to like curve and hit your dude, but it's still going to be fun because there's going to be a bunch of them that you have to avoid. So again, these are going to be kind of dumb. They're just going to move in a straight line. And, you know, maybe this one will be moving in a straight line. So, uh, again, that's a nice little tip whenever you want to make a game with zombies or really dumb monsters. Just put a bullet movement for their behavior. And the only behavior I want to add for this explosion is this. Click on Behaviors. Add. I only want to add this. Fade. Now what this does is it changes its opacity, which is pretty much the transparency. So basically what's going to happen, if I close out of that, whenever you need to blow up something like your bullet or a monster, or maybe you can even add that to your player itself, I don't know, maybe you want to have your player blow up, what's going to happen is it's going to go from full opacity and it's going to fade out. And by default, when the object is done fading out, it also gets white for memory. So we don't have the same issues that we do from the bullet going off screen. So that's another cool, oh, can't talk, cool reason that I like the fade out behavior. So now, whenever we run the game, check it out. Our bullet, I don't know if you guys saw that, but keep an eye on the bullet and also the monster. They go in a straight line. And also our explosion fades out and at the end of that it gets deleted from the game wait for memory so our game is still running fast so you know pretty cool uh, game this uh, you know so far I guess we can go chase those monsters and those bullets but other than that not a whole lot to do so in the next, in the next couple of videos I'm uh well I'm gonna be making the game a whole lot better so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time